So we're here to talk through this Battleship puzzle by Takeya Sekachi called The Right Ones. And you'll see there are a lot of ones given in the grid and only a couple twos and this one big five that might be interesting. The gaps of numbers are something I want to track down here. So I'll turn on the number mode and using that, uh, the columns, I've got four and six and four is 14. So there are six left over. I'm going to be careful and not think that this column is a six. I'm saying these two columns together add up to six. And in the rows, we have six ones marked. So there are 14 left over in the center, and that looks like a pretty big space to denote. One thing that might help you out is to just sort of mark some areas of the grid. And so one thing I'm seeing is that this blue set can take as many as four, and on the other side of the grid, this red set can also take as many as four, and that's because of the column clues working out for it. And that means that to get 14 to work in the space, we will need to get a total of six in these cells. And uh, that may look more than easy, but let me sort of show you how we tend to think about this. One is you often will break down these puzzles into two by two sections. So let me do some more coloring to make this have that kind of pattern. Uh, in this case, we can get as many as one ship in what's in yellow because of the seas, we can get one ship in brown because of the seas, we can get only two in orange and only two in purple. And this is because in any two by two square, you can only get two ships marked in. So this exactly makes 14 work. If we get six in the center, four on the right and four on the left. And so first thing we can then do is say that we have actually filled in those spaces and these corners are not used. That means that we actually have additional sort of shading as we could give, which would say that this is three. <laughs> and this down here is also three. And you'll see that where we need to get 12 as the sum in the center numbers, that works out. And we've got 20 chips placed around the grid. So this is an okay way to start. Let's now see if any of these clues that were given that aren't ones are useful. And we can now probably take these away. Um, this five has nine cells still for it, so that's not so useful. There are some ships I could place like here, here that would take away a set, but not as good. I think this two is now the most critical because it has three cells for it, and uh, only one more can be a C. And but what that means is a cell like this cell or like this cell, if, if this were a ship, it would mark both of these off, and that would cause an issue. So these can be marked off. One thing that does is it marks off one of the cells in our two by two box and needs two ships placed in it. So now we always have to take this cell that marks off these diagonal places. We always have to take this, this position now for this to work. Um, this column now with this one has just this one option for it. So it's got to take this cell that marks these off, also marks this off, which means the orange box now must take this cell coming up. That marks this ship in here marks a C in this spot, and now in purple, we always have to take this as a ship. That marks uh, this cell off. Um, what more do we have for that? Well, this row has one of these two cells uh, to be shaded, but that means that we can't take a position like this or this because they would eliminate both of those. So this purple has to be vertical. So that marks this in. It means this column now has just this option to get going. Um, do we have some more we can think through in doing that? Um, there are probably some effective limits starting to come together for this column. This column has just two cells for it. And here, this looks like the important row. This ninth row has one ship that has to be in one of these cells, but both of them diagonally see this. So this must be marked as a C. That means this at the top has to be a ship. Marks that in, finishes the row, marks these off puts in this, marks off this, puts in this. So uh, some pretty quick eliminations and the top is all finished. Notice we've marked off all these cells in this column that has a five clue and we still need to get this to add up to five. And if I took this cell here, I'd have a battleship and I would only have a count of four. So this is the C, this is marked in as a sub, this is a battleship, these get marked off, uh, the row counts work there, this gets marked in. Now the bottom's finished. I have one, two, three, four subs placed in the grid. I've got the battleship in the grid. 
So I need to get one more cruiser and then three destroyers, but there are no single unit ships to place. That's going to be a key, key thing to think about. What it means is over here, I've got one, one, and two. That looks like a good two plus two split. And what I can't do is have like this two be horizontal because then I would have a single one near another one. So what looks good is to have two that's vertical and then two that are horizontal to make that work. And on the other side where I've got to count, this is two plus three more. This is going to be a cruiser plus a destroyer. If I don't have this be the cruiser here, then I would need to have three ship segments that are a cruiser, but split across two columns. That doesn't make any sense. So this gets marked in and we get our last destroyer and we finish this puzzle. So pretty good Saturday puzzle. It had some battleships counting tricks at the start. It really then used the subdivision in two by two squares and the influence with this column clue. Uh, to get the cell marked off and get the start of some of the shadings happening. And then we could slowly work our way through particularly these middle columns as we saw cells we couldn't be taking up here, getting this ship at the top of the sixth column as a key aha moment to get the rest of the grid to really fall out. So thanks to Kea for this great challenge. Thanks you for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something about battleships for the future, and we'll see you again soon.